the jewish brahmins of india proudly declare that they are the followers of sanatana dharma and that it is the essence of hinduism however if you ask them what it means they give a very lengthy sketch of it rather than giving the precise meaning of it there are two words in it sanatana and dharma they define dharma as in the following harmony the way righteousness compassion natural law truth teachings tradition philosophy order universal flow religion wisdom divine conformity cosmic norm blueprint inherent nature law of being duty blah 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 have you got anything out of it next what is sanatana enna idu hindu madathukku pera kedaiyada hindu madan per irukke hindu madam nu nama solrom velakkil vandu vachu naan solrom neengal solrenga ellarum solrom but idhukku per kedaiyadu endradhu dhaan unmai hindu madam nu per eppadi vandhudhu அயல் நாட்டுக்காரங்கள்லாம் இங்கே வந்து படையெடுத்துலாம் வந்த பொழுது சிந்து நதியை கடந்து வந்தாங்க சிந்து நதியை கடந்து வரப்போ அதை தாண்டி இருந்தவங்களும் அவங்க அந்த ரிலிஜன் அவங்க ப்ராக்டிஸஸ் அதெல்லாம் பார்த்து இவர்கள் ஹிந்துக்கள் ஹிந்து மதம் அப்படின்னாங்க சிந்துன்றது அவங்க ஹிந்துன்னு ப்ரொனவுன்ஸ் பண்ணாங்க அதனால் இதுக்கு ஹிந்து மதம்ன்ற பேர் அப்போலேருந்து அப்படியே நினச்சி போச்சு அதுக்கு முன்னால் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இது சனாதன தர்மம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் சனாதன தர்மம்னா தொன்று தொட்டு இருப்பது எப்போலேருந்து இருக்குன்னு தெரியாது அது பாட்டுக்கு ரொம்ப வருஷமா அது பாட்டுக்கு காலங்காலமாக இருக்குது ana adhigum per illa idhukku the hindu pandit say that it means eternal perennial never ending nor beginning abiding universal ever present unceasing natural enduring blah 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 their attitude is like that of a student who did not study his subject material properly and fooling the interviewer with lengthy technical jargon which he himself does not understand hindu pandit say that sanatan is a sanskrit word that denotes anadi which means beginningless and anantam which means endless and hence means ever existing hence for the word sanatan dharma the only definition they give is that it is ever existing dharma okay it is ever existing fine what is the essence of this ever existing dharma it should have a definition right but alas they won't be able to define it but to escape from this pointed question they would say with its rich connotations dharma is not translatable to any other language the fact is that they don't know it as it did not belong to them even the word sanatana can't be shown to have evolved etymologically from anadi and anandam despite their claim none of these words including sanatana are sanskrit words sanatana dharma anadi anandam are all tamil words I had already established that Hinduism was a corrupted concept out of the looted gods and looted concepts of Tamils or Sivakam. When they looted the concepts and words, they hardly understood the correct meanings of them. Sanatana Dharma is one of such things. They say the word Dharma evolved from Dri, which means according to them, holding together or sustain. Alas, something that is just sustained cannot be called Dharma. It is simply nonsense. Moreover, etymologically it can't be established that dharma came from dri dri is not a sanskrit word and it is a deformed tamil word called tri which literally means three in english but means here three cardinal directions that is x y and z and hence it conceptually means traversing the three directions or three dimensions of the world just consider the tamil phrase alaindu therindu which means wandering in the wilderness even the english word thriv which they might think evolved from dri does not mean sustain as it only means growing well as a thing that grows takes more and more of three dimensional space hence originating from tamil root three hence dri or three has nothing to do with dharma on the other hand dharma is the tamil word which originated from the root ta meaning give tarumam means act of giving tarumam darumam dharmam dharma giving material goods to the needy is the simplest meaning of dharma in its larger context it means set of approved ethical rules of life hence if you give help to others it is called dharma and if you give trouble to others it is called al dharma a dharma a dharma that is not dharma hence dharma is related to what you provide or give to others this is reasonable and apt as you might rightly guess we need dharma for community living the humans and animals included 
the community living as a set of do's and don'ts. It is all related to the activities that you perform that yield directly or indirectly good or evil to the individual or society. Hence, it all boils down to what you give to others. Hence, dharmam, a Tamil word, originated from the root word ta, meaning give. This shall be even more obvious if you crack the word sanatana. Sanatana is not a single word. It has two words in it. Sana, tana. Sana means people. It is called jana in Sanskrit and hence it was originally a Tamil word with a sa deforming to ja. What is tanam? It is a very very important word and the essence of sanada dharma lies in this word. Tanam is again made of two Tamil roots, tan and am. Tan means self. Am means beauty basically and contextually as best of. Hence, tanam means the best of oneself. Sanam meaning people and hence sanatanam means presenting the best of oneself to the people around. The word sanatanam deformed to sanatanam. Sanatanam, sanadhanam. Sanatanam, sanadhanam. It is a positive message. At the entry level, it means don't do harm to others. Hence, putting all the words together, sanatana dharma means refraining from doing harm to others and if possible, helping other people. This is the essence of Tamil philosophy and way of life. A very simple and yet powerful meaning, right? If everyone follows it, won't there be paradise on earth? Donating one's eye, called as kandanam, donating one's land for a public cause, and all such esteemed donations are also called tanam in Tamil, as it displays magnanimity of a person, displaying his goodness of heart, and these are not referred to as just dharma, which has a lesser connotation compared to tanam. In fact, tanam shall be equated to donation in English, and tarumam shall be equated to alms in English. I shall etymologically analyze donation and alms and show them to be of Tamil origin, which would make you understand Tanam and Tanumam in their full scope. This etymology would be discussed at the end of this video. Hence, Tanam did not just mean refraining from doing harms to others. It is much more than that. It means presenting the best of oneself to others as mentioned above. However, the first stage of presenting the best of oneself is refraining from doing harm to others. The word Sanatana has immense relevance to the society we live in. The Illuminati Jews are hell-bent on giving troubles to the humanity. They have been planning perennially as to how they could destroy humanity. If they refrain from doing harm to the people of the world, the world would be a wonderful place to live in. Their psyche originated from the rotten concept that they are the chosen people of the God, while the rest of the community is just cattle called as Goyam in their language. Their actions originate from their superiority complex and their dirty greed. When thinking of cattle, even the carnivorous animals handle their cattle population with mercy. They do not do harm or kill their prey unless they are hungry. Not only that, many among them display amazing level of empathy which puts even humans into shame. An young tigress kills a buffoon for her meal. Soon after the kill, she finds a just born baby, baby buffoon, whose mother the tigress had killed. The tigress feels that it had done a sin and it feels very pity for the baby and becomes its surrogate mother. If you have not watched it already, do watch the full video and I salute the team who filmed it. I have given its link in the description page of this video. This tigress did not read the much talked about Jewish scriptures or even the most trumpeted Indian Brahminical scriptures. Yet it is more humane than these guys. Animals don't know any religion. Yet they do follow some ethics. They don't kill unless they are hungry. It is only the humans, the highly evolved species, who do mindless harm to the fellow humans. Some people say that we do not need a religion as we are fighting in the name of religion. It is ironical. Animals don't need a religion as they are naturally well behaved. But man has evolved as a creator. Being a creator, he has to know what he can create and what not, and he has to be taught the consequences of both. Hence, man needs a religion to educate him on the consequences of his action and to guide him with a set of rules to follow for the peaceful functioning of the society, facilitating a worthy life for one and all. Hence, it is humans who need religion. Hadn't we originally needed it, we would not have had them. We won't fight in the name of religion if we all follow just one religion. The problem is that there are many religions and unfortunately, 
most of them are in the wrong hands. That is the problem. We should extricate the religions from the wrong hands, purify them of the wrong ideas inserted by the wrong hands, and then find a common thread unifying them. Once unified by the common thread, then it is one religion all over the world. That utopia is possible as all religions are connected by a common thread. To realize that and to identify the deeper common thread, one should study every major religion. The Illuminati do not want religion as they can't bribe a person disciplined by religion and bribing is the main route they use to subvert the humanity. It is for subverting the humanity that they brought in atheism and communism, but both are utterly nonsense concepts. I would make an exclusive video on communism explaining very clearly that it is a total nonsense and knowingly made that way by Marx and Engels. They are sweetened poisons meant to do harm to the society. This is where Sanatana has its great relevance. If you realize the terrible history that the humanity traversed because of the Illuminati, we would very well realize that refraining from doing harm itself is the greatest virtue of humanity. Once we graduate refraining from doing harm to others, the next step would be to help the needy with their needs. That would mean paradise on earth, a possible utopia. That would happen if we simply follow Sanatana Dharma, which is very simple to understand. Presenting the best of oneself to the others, and if possible, helping others. That is a very simple definition, devoid of unnecessary technical jargon. Etymology of donation and alms. Donate actually evolved from Tamil. Here, Taan, which means self in Tamil, deforms to Don, which means a lord or master in English, as a person with a self-pride would become a master. Taan means self, Don means proud self. The am in Tanam is replaced by another equivalent Tamil word I, which also means beauty. Tan plus am, Tanam. Don plus I, Donai, Donite, Donate. Hence, Tanam and donation are one and the same. Tarumam has the right equivalence in arms in English. When we give material help, we use our hand. Hand is called arm in English. Hence, Tarumam, arms, arms. Here, Tamil concept Tarumam was recast as arms in English.